Hey, this is John Hansen, Mr. Natural Olympia, three-time Natural Mr. Universe. We're at the Powerhouse Gym in downtown Tampa, Florida for criticalbench.com. And I'm going to go over some mandatory posing today for the bodybuilders. I just pulled up my friend Aaron Reed from the gym floor, and he's going to demonstrate some mandatory poses, and we're going to talk about how to do all the mandatory poses correctly. So we'll start off with the front double bicep, Aaron. This is the first pose they're going to call for in the mandatory poses. So front double bicep. I remember you're going to keep the legs flexed at all times. And this is the front double bicep. Now Aaron is choosing to raise one arm a little higher than the other. Another way you could do it is just with the arm straight across. But you know, notice how he's pulling the upper body up. He's emphasizing his width and the lats to show the, the change between the top and the bottom, the V taper. And he's keeping the arms straight across. This is a very powerful pose. You're showing the whole body, upper development body. But you're also, like I said, you're also flexing the legs. You're showing the whole front of the body. That's what the judges want to see with this pose. They want to see the whole front of the body. They want to see the arms in relation to your torso. And they're also looking for that V shape. Okay, let's hit the front lat spread next. So now here again, the emphasis on the judges are looking for the V taper. They want to see the difference between the width of the shoulders and the small waist. So they're looking at the latissimus dorsi pose, the back pose. Now the way Aaron's doing it, he's got his hands right in line with his navel. See that? His, his lands are right here. They're not too low, they're not too high. And then he's keeping his elbows straight across. Now when he flexes his lats, he's not pulling the arms too close. He's just standing up straight and then pulling the lats out so to emphasize that V taper. All right, let's do a side chest pose. Okay, now the side chest pose, they're looking at the physique from the side, so they want to see the thickness of the physique. So we're looking at, obviously, his chest, but also the shoulders and the arms, and also they're looking at the legs from the side. So they want to see your hamstring in comparison to your quadricep and also your calves. So they're looking at the whole body, even though it's called a side chest pose. So the way Aaron does it, let's do it one more time, Aaron. Was the traditional one. He's keeping his arms straight right here, right level with the waist, and he's pulling the chest up. This emphasizes again a more powerful look because you want to show you want to show the width and the thickness of the upper body. Okay. Do a uh, side tricep. Okay. Now Aaron's doing a side tricep pose. And again, we're looking at the side of the body, so the judges want to see the thickness of the muscles, the thickness of the chest. They're also looking at the shoulders and the arms, not only the triceps, but also the biceps, the forearms. And again, you're looking at the side of the leg. They want to see the hamstrings in comparison to your quadriceps, your calves, and the waist. They want to see that the waist is small, and, and from the side, your waist is going to look very small. So that's what they're looking for in the side tricep pose. Okay, now this is the rear double bicep pose. Now we're looking at the physique from the back. So they're looking at, again, the width of the body from the shoulders all the way down. So they're not only looking at the back, they're looking at your shoulders, they're looking at your arms from the back instead of the front, they're looking at your lat muscles, your lower back. This is where a lot of people hold their fat. So if you're very lean, the lower back will be really lean here. They're also looking at the legs now. They're looking at the legs from the back. They want to see the hamstrings and the calves. So they're looking at the whole back of the body in a rear double bicep pose. Okay, now here they want to see the width of the back from the rear side instead of the front. So Aaron is again keeping the hands right at the waist, spreading the elbows out wide, and his elbows are right in line with his back. He doesn't have his back pulled in too far forward, which would make him look even more narrow. So again, what they're looking for is the width of the shoulders all the way down to the waist. They want to see that V taper, and again, they're looking at the back of the legs. They're looking at the hamstrings and the calves to see that it's in proportion to the upper body. All right, now we're going to look at the front abdominal pose. They call it the abdominal and thigh because they're not only looking at your upper body, they're also looking at the legs. So Aaron puts his hands behind his head and crunches down on his abs, keeps the elbows up high. Again, this emphasizes the V taper. So now you've got more of a width. Instead of having the elbows lower, which would make you look more narrow, we're getting the V taper. You're seeing how small the waist is, and also you're seeing the front part of the legs. And then sometimes the judges will ask for a, a most muscular pose. They might ask for a hands-on hip most muscular or a crab most muscular or your favorite most muscular. 
So let's try uh, your favorite most muscular, whatever oh, that is. Sure, most muscular. So the most muscular is basically any kind of crunching pose. This is more of a traditional crab pose, they call it. And it you're basically, great. yeah, this is the traditional crab pose. You're crunching the upper body. You're showing the trapezius muscles, the shoulders, the arms, and the chest. This is a very powerful pose that shows the muscle mass. And also when you're in condition, you're showing your definition and the, the, also looking at the legs also. So if you like that, be sure to check out this link to see some of the legendary exercises from some of the greatest bodybuilders in the world. And if you're on a mobile device and you can't click here, check the description area below, click the top link, and be sure to add your email so we can send you some more videos. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to our channel, and be sure to leave a comment or question for us.